how to install the mcp server in the cursor id in this video i'm not going to explain what is mcp server and what are its use in this video i'm just going to explain and give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install the mcp server in your cursor id so first of all what we'll need is a cursor id itself and i've given a cursor id link in the video description just click on the first link and once you have open the cursor so just click on the download for the windows if you have a window os and if you have a mac os just download for the mac os and once you have installed the cursor id open the cursor id just click on the setting and then come into the search and search for the mcp and press enter and if you see over here there is no any mcp tool has been installed in my cursor id so to install the mcp so we'll use a smithery.ai so smithery.ai is an ascent gateway for the okay so multiple mcp servers so you can find any mcp servers that is available in your market so it has a multiple categories as well for the explorer for the memory management as you can see over here for the asentic development tools for relational database connectors for the web shirts for the browser automations and developer workflow tools and many 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 more okay so what we'll need to do first is we'll just need to come over here and we need to log in so i have already logged in so you just need to sign up just click on the deal sign up and once you have done there what you just continue with your google so once you have signed up your account okay so here is a profile that is a progress so once you have signed up just search for any mc server you wanted to install in your cursor id so i will search for the uh, let's say context 7 okay and then click on the search and it, it will provide you a multiple options so what you'll need to see here is the uh, use that is the tool that has been called multiple times so this is the valid context 7 uh, mcp server and these are just the server that were created by other users okay so just click on the first link that has a multiple tools called for a multiple time in a month okay just click the first link uh, once you have clicked you can see here what it is and what are its use so it is used to fetch up up-to-date version it is used for the version specific documentations and code examples and many more and enhance your coding experience by eliminating outdated informations and hallucinated apis and many more okay so if you come down over here here's a auto option for the chat gpt book cloud desktop cloud code and we are adding our mcp server in our cursor id so here's our for the cursor okay so there this is just a one click install and here's a uh, prompt given over here just you just need to copy it and paste it in your terminal or a json file as well so if you see over here there is a mcp.json uh, where you can use uh, this uh, to by using a add to the custom J mcp okay by using a json file or when you click into the auto you can just uh, copy this one okay and if you see over here there uh, api key is also given in here so you don't, don't need to create your one api so just click onto the auto and come over here in the terminal and click onto the copy and once you have clicked onto the copy just come back to the cursor terminal and once you have opened the cursor terminal what you'll just need to do is if you have a project okay so you can open your project and if you do not have don't worry uh, i'm just giving you an example okay just copy and paste this one paste the code and press enter and if you see over here the context 7 mcp uh, server has been installed and it has a resolve library id and get library docs okay that's it so th this is how easy it is to install the mcp server so uh, let's see how it works okay so i'm just going to give a certain chat context 7 explain how the uh, checkout work in this project okay so what is a checkout so i'm gonna show you so this is my um project okay there is a checkout option and i wanted to know how a checkout work in this project so it will explain you how the functionality work in this project project and it will explore all the code bases to get the comprehensive understanding of the checkout system and it will give you a whole description on how it is working okay 
so this is how the mcp server is installed in your cursor id and you can install many more MP mcp servers like this in your cursor id by just one click install okay so you just need to copy the prompt and copy it in your terminal of your cursor id just like i did okay you have to search for your mcp server and do it so if you have learned something new from this channel thumbs up subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the next upcoming videos okay on what is mcp server and what are its use and what are the most used mcp servers on the cursor ide so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video bye for now